The competition between Intel and Apple is heating up, causing a lot of buzz and guessing among tech insiders and outsiders alike. This latest move, which seems like a smart strategy straight from Apple's own playbook, is a game changer in the Intel-Apple rivalry. It highlights how the computer and chip industries are constantly changing, and companies need to keep innovating and adapting to stay on top. The back and forth between these tech giants doesn't just affect their market positions, it also sets the stage for what's coming next in the industry, making it a really big deal. In this video, we'll talk about the competition between Intel and Apple's chips, and how each company tries to stay ahead. We'll look at Intel's response to Apple's M2 Ultra chip, which is seen as an important move in their rivalry. We'll discuss how these moves affect Intel's position in the market, considering the larger impact on industry competition and technological progress. We'll speculate on what might happen in the future years as a result. At the end, we'll offer our thoughts on what Intel doing something similar to Apple could mean for Silicon Valley's future. So, make sure to watch the full video, like, and subscribe. Let's begin with the background of the Intel and Apple competition. Number 1. Intel's Historical Dominance Intel has been a leader in the semiconductor industry for a long time, shaping the technology we use today. The company introduced important innovations like the 8051 microcontroller and the Ethernet standard, which are crucial for modern computing. Intel also improved the 8086 processor with the 8087 coprocessor and created a type of memory that could be erased and reprogrammed, showing their focus on innovation. Even during tough economic times like recessions, Intel kept advancing. IBM once had a temporary stake in Intel, and Intel scored a major design win with Ford Motor Company, highlighting the industry's trust in Intel's technology. Intel bounced back and started making profits again after the computer chip industry recovered from a long period of struggle. The 386 microprocessor, one of Intel's products, remained the most popular and widely used. This time also marked important events for Intel. They attended the SIGGRAPH Tech Expo for the first time, and Andy Grove became the new CEO, strengthening Intel's position in the industry. With new innovations like the OverDrive 486 processors and Indio video software, Intel proved it was a major force in personal computer technology. Number 2. Apple Shift to In-House Chips Apple stopped using Intel's processors, which was a big change for the semiconductor industry. In 2020, Apple started putting its own M1 chips into the MacBook Air and other Mac computers. They moved from the traditional x86 design to the ARM design. This change was to make the computers use less power and have longer battery life, which is really important for modern devices. Apple's work with the M1 chip showed that ARM-based processors can be really good, even for high-end computers. Because of this, other big companies like Qualcomm, AMD, and Nvidia started looking into similar technologies. The decision to create its own chips helped Apple make its products really different and special. This allowed Apple to come up with new and creative ideas across all its devices. By using custom chips in everything from watches to powerful computers, Apple gained an important advantage over its competitors. This strategy boosted how well Apple's products worked, but it also let Apple control its supply chain and product release schedules better. Intel had a tough time keeping its lead position in the market. Things got worse when Apple decided to make its own chips instead of buying from Intel. Losing Apple as a big customer really hurt Intel's business. This shows that more and more companies are choosing to make their own custom chips instead of relying on traditional suppliers. The competition between Intel and Apple highlights how fast the semiconductor industry is changing. Strategic choices and new technologies keep changing the market landscape. Now let's look at Intel's response to Apple's M2 Ultra chip. Number 1 the Lunar Lake Laptop Chips Intel is preparing to launch its Lunar Lake processors in Q3 2024, aiming for the holiday shopping season. These new processors are anticipated to bring a revolutionary boost to AI performance in laptops, with support for over 80 new laptop designs from more than 20 different original equipment manufacturers. A standout feature of Lunar Lake will be the Copilot Plus experiences, which will enhance user interactions through AI-driven capabilities. These processors promise a groundbreaking advancement in mobile processing power, offering more than three times the AI performance compared to previous generations. They will deliver over 40 NPU tera operations per second, or TOPS, and more than 60 GPU TOPS, totaling over 100 platform TOPS. Intel is not just focusing on improving their AI capabilities, but also making their regular processors and graphics chips way better. Their upcoming Lunar Lake chips will be faster with the regular processing part being 14% quicker than before, even at the same clock speed. The graphics performance will see a massive 50% boost too. 
Plus, your laptop's battery will last up to 60% longer compared to their previous Meteor Lake chips. They're achieving these gains by using cutting-edge 3 nanometer and 6 nanometer manufacturing processes from TSMC, hacking the compute and platform components onto a single efficient chip. Number 2. New GPU Architecture The XE2 graphics architecture in Lunar Lake is a major upgrade. It can handle up to 60 trillion operations per second, or TOPS, which is 1.5 times better than the XE GPU in Meteor Lake. This boost in power will raise the bar for even basic graphics cards, making them much more capable for regular computing tasks as well as gaming. Lunar Lake's graphics muscle doesn't stop there. It also packs a new neural processor that can crunch through 45 trillion calculations per second. That kind of AI horsepower puts it in the same league as high-end mobile chips. Overall, the XE2 GPU will greatly boost performance with its impressive 60 tops capability. Additionally, the XE2 design supports advanced ray tracing and high-speed memory systems, which are really important for modern gaming and graphics programs. The design also includes upgrades like a new display engine supporting up to 8K 60 HDR, and improvements in encoding and data compression abilities, which are essential for high-resolution media content. Intel's response with Lunar Lake and the new XE2 GPU design is a direct challenge to Apple's M2 Ultra chip, showing Intel's commitment to staying competitive in the rapidly changing semiconductor industry. You've done great getting to this point. Don't miss out on what's up next. Make sure to click the subscribe button and join us to be the first to see all our latest and best videos. Let's keep going. So, now let's talk about the impact on Intel's market position. Intel's place in the market has been affected by changes in the semiconductor industry. This has caused its stock price to drop significantly in recent months. If Intel's stock falls below the late February low of $24.73, it could drop further to around $19.50, which has been an important support level for many years. Increased Competition from AMD and NVIDIA Intel also faces increased competition from rivals like AMD and NVIDIA, which have been gaining market share in key segments such as AI and GPUs. This competition is really making things tough for Intel, especially with AMD and NVIDIA gaining more ground in the CPU and GPU markets. It's not that they're just taking away market share, but they're also growing a lot compared to Intel. For example, Wall Street predicts that NVIDIA sales will grow by a whopping 97.5% this year, and AMD's by 12.6%. Meanwhile, Intel is only expecting their sales to grow by 2.8%. That's pretty slim compared to their competitors. Intel's response includes the launch of new Xeon 6 AI data center chips, which come in two versions, a more powerful processor for larger AI infrastructure needs and an efficient model design to replace earlier generation chips. Despite these efforts, Intel's competitively priced data center chips aim to regain market share lost to competitors over the past year due to several manufacturing challenges. Moreover, Intel's Gaudi 3 Accelerator Kit, which houses eight Xeon 6 chips and sells for around $125,000, is significantly cheaper than NVIDIA's comparable HGX server system. This pricing strategy may help Intel attract more customers to its AI offerings and potentially gain market share from NVIDIA. Intel's position in the market is affected by competitors outside the company and by the strategies Intel comes up with inside. How Intel deals with these challenges and promotes its new products will be really important for deciding its future place in the tough, competitive computer chip industry. What are the potential future developments? Intel's strategies to win back Apple Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger is very determined to win back Apple's business, especially for Mac computers, by making better chips than Apple. He admitted that Intel has made mistakes in the past and stressed the importance of creating superior chips. Gelsinger wants to build a more open and attractive ecosystem than Apple's, hoping to bring developers and users back to Intel-based products. Now, with the predictions and industry insights. The future of the semiconductor industry depends on several factors. One important aspect is the search for new materials to make semiconductors. Another challenge is the increasing cost of rare earth metals, which are essential for making most electronic devices. The trade disputes between the US and China have made these metals more expensive, affecting the supply chain for semiconductors. Advances in artificial intelligence, or AI, and the Internet of Things, or IoT, are driving new innovations in the semiconductor field. Companies that can meet the growing needs of AI and IoT technologies are likely to become market leaders. Moreover, the introduction of 5G networks is boosting the demand for high-performance computing devices. This creates big opportunities for semiconductor manufacturers, as long as they can keep up with the rapid pace of innovation. 
Intel is responding to changes in the industry by investing a lot of money in research and development and expanding its manufacturing. They plan to spend $100 billion to build and expand semiconductor factories in several U.S. states with the help of federal grants and loans. This expansion aims to boost Intel's production and fix supply chain issues, which could increase its market share and revenue in the future. Intel is also working on improving semiconductor technology by developing new materials using 3D design technologies. These advancements are important as traditional methods reach their physical limits. Overall, Intel's big investment in new factories and its efforts to lead in technology are essential for staying competitive in the semiconductor industry. By looking closely at the ongoing competition and strategies between Intel and Apple, it's clear that the semiconductor industry is leading in technological innovation and market competition. Intel's introduction of Lunar Lake processors and its focus on AI-enhanced performance show a strong response to Apple's advancements, highlighting the lively nature of this rivalry and its impact on technology. This competition between two tech giants shows how the industry constantly evolves through innovation and strategic planning. Intel aims to regain dominance with better chip-making capabilities and significant investments in research, development, and manufacturing. This indicates a fiercely competitive future in semiconductor technology. For Silicon Valley and the global tech industry, this means a period of major change. Advances in AI, IoT, and high-performance computing devices will shape the future of technology. The rivalry between Intel and Apple, along with their strategic choices, will have lasting effects, driving innovation, competition, and market dynamics for years to come. There you have it, guys. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment about what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next one.